Hello, this is Mark. I work at one of the Apple retail store. Don't buy the low-cost iMac. The early 2014 low-cost iMac. The 2014 low-cost iMac 21 inch. And you know why? I have come up with a jaw-dropping, with extraordinary consequence due to my research. The low-cost IMAX is 1099 US dollars. Am I right? The low-cost IMAX. The 13 inch, early 2014, is 999. Right? 1.4 gigahertz, fourth generation Intel Haswell processor. The integrated GPU, the integrated Intel 5000 HD, the, the onboard GPU, 4 gigabytes of RAM. This one is 999. If you increase the RAM of this one, you go to the Apple online store and you go to the CTO of the custom to config page and you add more RAM, you increase the RAM to 8. The price will be increased to 1099. Exact same amount as the low cost iMac. You should not buy this one. It's, it's going to be slightly tricky for you. You're going to have to think clearly. Number one, this is not a new iMac 2014. It's not like early 2014, mid 2014 iMac. No! It's merely a stripped down model of the iMac. Late 2013, and the most obvious evidence to support or testify my word is you go to the custom drawer of the page and you upgrade to one terabyte fusion drive. If you buy the entry levels, iMac 2000, late 2013. You're gonna have to add hundred dollars in order to get one terabyte fusion drive. But if you buy the low cost iMac 2014, you're gonna have to pay 150. You pay more for the one terabyte fusion drive because Apple allows to increase the storage capacity of the internal drive, the 2.5 inch rotational conventional notebook hard drive inside the low cost iMac to one terabyte. You pay 50, but if you need Fusion Drive, it's 150. You get what I mean? It is stripped down model, it's not a new model. It sucks. Why? Because first, 1.4 GHz Haswell 4th generation Intel processor, first time in the history. That you buy a Mac desktop computer, but you got a laptop grade processor. You my setting more, I don't do, you know, CPU intensive tasks. Nowadays, an 82 years old granny does CPU intensive tasks. For instance, copy file, duplicate file, you know, fire up application, or you got like 8,000 photos that you want to Simultaneous. I mean, kind of like import and be able to like delete later on using image captures on your Mac. Transfer 8,000 photos from your iOS devices to your Mac using the image capture, and then delete your photos later on. Do like short home video using iMovie, or you want to convert movie to MP4 from it, and then you can play it. Don't talk to me about. Those piece of trash is like AV player, VLC for iPad, can play any movie formats, files. Those, they are unreliable. You can't rely on these apps. You have to convert them. So number one, for, and especially if you are an app developer for Mac, how can you test those application that you have developed on a very slow processor Mac. Your Mac is even slower than those regular conventional desktop Macs on the market. That's the point.
Or you are an elderly person. You retire as already. You need something big because your eyes are not so good. What about this? You buy the MacBook Air 13. You increase the RAM to 8. Don't be afraid of the CTO custom to order pace. Because going there is like making, creating, carving your own universe. Ten ninety nine. At home, you might consider buying a cheap, fine quality or decent monitor, like for a hundred hundred dollar. On the road, you got the MacBook Air. You know what? My store is located. The re reason that it works for is located right next to the Starbucks coffee shop. Yeah, I've seen many elderly person there, and they kind of like they bring their devices to the Starbucks coffee shops like every day. They prefer like spend time with their like friends, like retired friends over there on the road. And sometimes these elderly people they have problems. They are prone to have technical problems. If you got the iMac, you can move your IMAX around. 21 IMAX weighs around 6 kilogram. I know it's it's not that huge, it's not like you know the weight of a sumo wrestler, but the thing is something might cause hassle. You go to your Mac store and then you're gonna have to carry wireless Bluetooth and keep of course you can use there at the Mac store a power cord sometime, but it's gonna cause hassle anyway compared to a laptop. And also Apple might consider releasing the newer version of the iMac with Retina Display that might be even better for your eyes later on because we have some clues due to the settings that I found inside the infrastructures of your Xiaomi 10.10 and when the time comes you might think shit I shouldn't have bought the stripped down costly model I was lure at the time because I was just a price sensitive but not value conscious customers. You buy this one, this one $9.99, you pay $100, you get 8 GB of RAM, same processor, 8 GB of RAM, same GPU, of course, but the hard drive is uncomparable. The hard drive is uncomparable. Why? Because this one is PCIe flash storage, it's lightning fast, of course the storage capacity is very slow. But did you know that since the SDXC cards become cheaper, up to 2 terabyte, buy less than $100, now you can buy a 128 SDXC card, slide inside properly, store your media files on that. You can't compare this, because the iMac is not a desktop computer, it's merely a laptop. The iMac 21 inch uses a conventional 2.5 inch running at 5400 RPM. It's merely a laptop. With, you know, this time a notebook class processor. We don't need Haswell on the iMac. Beyond that, I'll give you a little secret because they got tons of Haswell 1.4 GHz processor in their stock rooms in the factory. Why? Because they have failed to make the sale for the MacBook Air. We don't need Has Haswell, it's slow, it's power efficient, but the iMac doesn't have a built-in battery. Then, you'd have to concern about the iMac battery life, that's the point. Who needs Haswell for iMacs anyway? It's always plugged into the wall power outlet. What? Oh, <laughs> uh, the the keyboard of my uh, MacBook Air. I mean, the early 2014 looked down because I put a. This one is not silicon. It's called um, ultra thin uh, thermal petroleum plastic. Is up to five times thinner compared to those silicon covers on the market. And I won't tell you the brand because the producer of this thing didn't pay me a million dollars as I've requested. I'm just joking, it's moshi. So, my point is 
It's completely sucks. Don't buy this model. You're gonna feel regret. It's not a newer model. Apple didn't sacrifice a penny for your purchase because it's a stripped down model. For instance, the eight gigabytes of RAM cannot be upgraded. The RAM, the, the RAM piece, it solder with lead to the motherboard. Over time, you can't modify, you can't increase the internal specs. You can't do a thing with it. It is stripped down. Comes pre-equipped with the 500 gigabytes of internal storage. You increase to one terabyte, like 5004 rotational drive, the 2.5 inch notebook drive inside, you're gonna pay 50 bucks more. Proven by itself, it's stripped down to cheaper version of processor, stripped down to cheaper GPU. You buy the entry level late 2013 iMac, you got the Iris Pro graphics, you buy this one, you got what? You got Intel HD 5000, still Wi Fi, AC, no Thunderbolt 2. Cannot be visible the Thunderbolt 2. Then you can hook it up to fully support like 4K monitors on the market. If you really want to get the most out of them, don't buy this one. I beg of you. If you need it, larger screen real estate, I recommend you buy these. Increase the RAM. You buy, there are a number of alternatives on the market like low profiles or low cost panel monitor on the market for probably $150 or $100. Thanks for watching.